Uh, today we will discuss an experiment to find out the dielectric constant of material. Dielectric, as you know, it is the medium placed in between the plates of a capacitor. It will be like this. The thickness of the dielectric in this case is small d. So when the dielectric is placed in the space between the plates of the capacitor, the capacitance value we can write as k is epsilon 0 k a by d. Epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space, k is called as a dielectric constant, a is the area of the dielectric and d is the thickness. The equation can be reduced down to k is equal to 1.44 10 to the power minus 6 b t half by epsilon 0 a into r. So, d is the thickness of the dielectric, epsilon 0 is the uh, permittivity of free space, a represents the area and r is the resistance, usually a high resistance value is used. t half is the quantity we are going to find out from the experiment. So, to find out the t half value, we have to draw the charging and discharging curves. So, charging curve, so when you apply a particular potential difference across the capacitor, capacitor will get charged. So, charging can be drawn like this. See, along the x axis, if I take the time of charging, and along y axis, if I take the voltage across the capacitor, starting from 0, initially very fast, it is an exponential increase, very fast the charging rate will start and after some time it will become steady, it will be saturated, it will reach a maximum. So, this is called as a charging curve. Same if you allow the capacitor to discharge from its maximum value, it will be starting like this. Starting time it will be having the highest voltage, from there exponentially it will decrease down to 0. So, these two graphs intersect at this point and the time corresponding to this intersecting point is called as a t half. In fact, it represents the time required to charge 50 percentage of the maximum voltage or discharge to 50 percentage of the maximum voltage. So, using the experiment we are going to find out what is t half. To do that, we are given with a kit. In this, we have a voltage source, this is inbuilt inside, this is 5 volt. This voltage source is not connected with the actual circuit. So, this gap we have to close with the help of a patch cord. This way we can close it. Same way bottom there is another gap, this gap also has to be closed. Now, this voltage source is connected to the circuit. Next, we have a charge discharge key. If it is put in this C or top side, it gives a charging mode. In the charging mode, the voltage source will get connected through the key and to the resistor and to the capacitor comes back. Circuit will be closed. Whereas, if you put it in the bottom side, D side, discharge mode, the voltage source will be discharged and the capacitor, resistor, key will be closed in this direction. So, when the charging mode voltage increases, the discharging mode voltage decreases down. Now, we have another switch. This switch is just like a key only, whether to start or stop the current, we can use the key. The reset button is used to reset the clock. Now, it is showing one second to reset you can press this, so it will come to 0, now we will do the connection for the other things. So, next we have a resistance, this is a high resistance, here 3 resistors are provided, 100 kilo ohm, 220 kilo ohm, 330 kilo ohm, any one can be used in this case. Suppose if I want to use 100 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm is having 2 terminals, one terminal is connected here and the second terminal is connected. So, the resistor is now coming in this position. Now, we have the capacitor, 
again three capacitance are given C1, C2, C3. If I use C1, I can use it like this positive terminal to the torque one. It is an electrolytic capacitor, so negative terminal to the bottom. So the C1 capacitor is now placed in this case. This is the position to apply the voltmeter. Voltmeter is provided here. So positive is this one, negative is that. So positive and negative. Positive can be connected to the top point and the negative to the bottom point. So this completes the circuit. Now if you see this switch charge discharge key is in the discharge mode, switch is off position. No current is flowing now. Now if I put it in the charging mode, first before starting I should assure that the voltage also is zero. When we start the time zero, voltage also must be zero. If it is not showing zero, one terminal of the capacitor has to be removed and can touch the other one short circuiting this capacitor so the voltage will come down to zero. So now it is ready for starting the experiment. So if I start the switch immediately the clock will start running and also the voltage increases. This voltage is the voltage across the capacitor. So what we are going to do is for every 5 second time gap we will go on noting what is the voltage. So charging we are starting from 0 after 5 seconds we will see what is the voltage and initially the change will be very fast and afterwards gradually it comes down. Let us see. See if I switch on you can see the timer shows time now it is 3 5 second 1.77 I can use this voltage here. Now for 10 seconds I am getting 2.86, 15 seconds 3.52, 20 seconds 3.97. So gradually it is uh, change is coming down. So this we can do until the voltage become almost steady. So nearly uh, 35 seconds 4.42 then 40 second it is 4.47 the gap is very fast reducing down 45 second we have 4.5 then 50 uh, 4.53 55 it is 4.55 60 also it is 4.55 so the charging has come to the maximum now we can go for discharging for discharging Starting voltage, I will write the same 4.5 maximum. Then the knob should be put in the discharge mode. Simultaneously, the clock should be reset like this. So, again, you can see the voltage is reducing for 5 seconds. And now it is 2.73. It is coming down. So, for 10 seconds, it is 1.68. 15 seconds, it is 1.03. 20 second point 63 25 second point 4 30 it is point 24 so this way voltage is coming down so very fast it will come down to zero so almost 40 second it is nearing zero 45.06 50.05 this way 55 is 0.03 so by 60 it is very close to 0 0.01 so here we can stop the experiment now we will plot a graph similar to this if you are plotting the graph it will be like this so in the x axis you take the time 1 centimeter can be taken as 5 seconds so we will be able to uh, fully uh, plot up to 60 seconds and in the y axis we will take the voltage 1 centimeter can be taken as 5 volt so up to 4.5 volt we will be able to accommodate. If you draw the graph charging graph and discharging graph intersects at the point here I am getting nearly uh, 6.5 second. So with 6.5 second if you do the calculation in this all other values are given 
thickness of the dielectric length breadth all these values are given in the data resistance is the one you have used here 100 kilo using this you can find out the dielectric constant that's explained.